The next GOP presidential debates are less than three weeks away, but despite her rise in the polls, Carly Fiorina may not be among the 10 candidates on stage in primetime. She says CNN, in her words, is rigging the game. Well, joining us now is Howard Kurtz, Fox News media analyst and host of Media Buzz every weekend right here on Fox News Channel. Hi, Howie. Hey, Patty. So CNN is relying on polls over the past two months, some of which were taken even before the Fox debate. A lot has changed th since then, uh, but CNN cannot change its criteria after the fact. But in hindsight, should their criteria have included polls only from a month before the debate or even less? In a word, yes, that would seem to be a lot fairer because it would reflect the changing fortunes of the candidates as they move up and down. Instead, CNN is using uh, polls as much as three weeks before the Fox News August 6th debate, when uh, obviously Carly Fiorina did very well in what was called the happy hour uh, session. And uh, therefore, uh, Carly Fiorina probably will be excluded from CNN's uh, September 16th debate out at the Reagan Library. I had a chance to talk to the Republican presidential candidate yesterday. Let's take a look. Wherever you were before August 6th has more of an impact on your standing on September 16th than where you were after August 6th, which seems a little backwards, doesn't it? So if you're a professional politician and have been in the game a long time or you're a celebrity, you're advantaged in national polls. If you're an outsider who literally most people had never even heard of before I launched my campaign on May 4th, you're disadvantaged. Now, CNN didn't do this deliberately, but the net effect is Carly Fiorina is right. It f works in favor of candidates who are well-known professional politicians, big name ID. And it's really hurt her because she's come up to 5% in recent polls, kind of seventh or eighth place, which would ordinarily earn her a spot on that primetime stage. Yeah, you know, she was on America's Newsroom this morning here, and uh, she said that, you know, CNN can fix this. They can just do a whole bunch more polls now to skew the average over the two months toward the more recent numbers. Uh, does CNN have to bend over backwards like that? Well, CNN can't change the rules because that would then be unfair to other candidates right. uh, who uh, would be excluded if Carly Fiorina gets in. But yes, CNN, other news organizations could do more polls. Polling is expensive. There were a lot of polls before the Fox debate. There haven't been many recently. Uh, but that would be a novel way to have a more accurate reflection of who should get on that stage in prime time next month. Yeah, because she says there were, as you said, a lot more polls in that first month than in the second month. All exactly. right, we have to move on now. Uh, there is new reporting about a feud between Donald Trump and the Bush family. Some of Trump's friends and associates telling the Washington Post this goes all the way back to the 80s when President George H.W. Bush uh, was in office. Uh, and we have seen Trump really coming out swimming against Jeb Bush. Uh, the press is covering it. Jeb isn't punching back that much. Not much for the press to report on in uh, Jeb Bush's defense. Is the media coverage of this so-called feud fair? Well, it's as fair as it can be, given the fact that one guy, Donald Trump, has given more than 70 national television interviews and is calling Jeb Bush a low-energy person and a loser and really piling on. And Jeb Bush has barely been uh, doing any uh, interviews at all. And when he does uh, hit back at Trump, he's calling him this guy, and he does it in a very sort of restrained and low-key way because he doesn't want to get into a big dirt fight with the Donald. Uh, the fascinating thing, Patty Ann, about that Washington Post piece, you don't have to rely on Trump's friends and associates. Trump gave the newspaper a 35-minute interview, and in that time, he insulted Jeb or the Bush family 33 times. That's got to be a modern indoor record. So, yeah, the Washington Post is quoting uh, this one prominent Republican who says he golfed with Trump last year, and Trump spent the whole time trashing Jeb, in his words. Uh, it gives the impression that this is personal for Trump. I mean, is that a good campaign strategy? The Post is calling it a feud. Well, it does seem like a feud to me. I mean, look, Trump has proven again and again and again, despite the judgments of the uh, assembled prognosticators and pundits, that when he goes after people, whether it's Jeb Bush, other candidates, whether it's the media, whether it's Jorge Ramos of Univision, people like that. They like to see a fighter. But it's a real dilemma for the other candidates who don't necessarily uh, have those counterpunching skills, who don't want to play on tur uh, Trump's turf, who don't want to be drawn into playing his game. And Jeb, I think, who certainly is surprised by all this is not quite sure it seems to me how to handle this one of Jeb's friends Al Cardenas former Florida Republican chairman told me that these are childish bully-like attacks by Trump but clearly the Bush camp trying to figure out how to deal with the relentlessness of those attacks mm. all right Howard Kurtz host of media buzz right here on Fox every Sunday thanks good to see you you too